The story I'm about to tell you is about possibilities. It's about what can happen when you set your mind to something and the lesson that results from it. So the story begins in 2010. I was 17 years old, one year away from graduating high school and lost. What was next? College? No. Career? No. There was only one thing that I wanted, to spend two months backpacking Europe after graduating high school. Now that was my dream, but there was one thing standing in between me and my dream, and it was $5,000. That was the amount of money that I thought that I would need to travel for two months. The problem was I had zero dollars in savings and I had never worked a job before in my life. So in this video, I wanna tell you my story of how I turned that dream into reality and the lesson that I learned that changed my life forever. And this video is my story demonstrating what is possible in this world. And I hope that it inspires you to live the life that you want. And this video is going to consist of three parts. Part one, saving $5,000. Part two, the life-changing lesson. Part three, what the lesson taught me. I had 12 months to save $5,000 and it was during the recession. So it was really hard to find a job at that point. So after searching months for a job, I finally found a seasonal job at a water park in Georgia. The job, flipping burgers. The pay, $7.25 an hour with no overtime pay. The goal, save as much as I could. So I had the job, but I needed the hours because it takes a long time to save $5,000 when you're making minimum wage. So I quickly learned how to do every position in the restaurant so that I could work more hours. And very quickly, I was working 60, 70, 80 hour weeks, open to close, six days a week. All I was doing was working, driving home, sleeping, and then coming back to work. It was an exhausting summer. But three months later, I looked at my bank account, and I am not joking with this, and I had $5,000. Ladies and gentlemen, anything is possible when you set your mind to something. That sounds impossible, but I promise that it happened. When you don't have any bills like I did, I was 17 years old, and you're saving every single penny that you're making, and you're working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, it happened. I saved $5,000 in three months with a minimum wage job without receiving any overtime pay. So anything is possible. So let's keep the story moving and fast forward 10 months when I was boarding a flight to Europe. On July 14th, 2012, I landed in Dublin, Ireland. Here's a picture of teeny bopper Austin. And this was the second time I had ever been on an airplane. It was the first time I was ever abroad. And it was the first time I was ever really alone. Now I'll be honest with you, when I got there, I was terrified. I was shaken, I was so scared. I looked like I was 14 years old. But I pushed through because I didn't let the fear get to me because I had worked so hard to get to that moment. And for two months, I was on the move. I went from Ireland, Northern Ireland, England, Scotland, France, and then finishing off in Italy. And I met new people. I tried new foods. And I just gained a new perspective on life. It was my birth into the world. And I learned one financial lesson on that trip that changed the entire course of my life. And it's this. Money is the thing that turns dreams into reality. Now at that moment, I was living my dreams because of the decision that I made the previous year to save and sacrifice. And I realized that money represents possibilities. And I realized that I could do whatever I wanted in life if I did what I did that previous summer, save and sacrifice. And for the next five years, I continued to turn my dreams into reality. And I went to over 35 countries in a period of six years. Now, in the final part of this video, I want to share 10 money beliefs that came out of that lesson that I still use in my life to use money as the thing that turns dreams into reality. Now, since learning that lesson, I've always viewed money as a tool to allow me to do what I want in life. I save as much money as I can, not because I'm saving for something, but I just want the maximum amount of freedom in my life. So in the final part of this video, I want to share 10 money beliefs that came out of that lesson. So number one is that it doesn't necessarily matter how much you're making. Now, it is impossible 
to live off $7.25 an hour in the United States. I was able to save so much money because I was living with my family at the time. I was 17 years old and I didn't have any bills. But regardless, saving $5,000 off a minimum wage job is very difficult. The reason I was able to do that is because I cut my spending as much as I could. Right now, I save 60% of my income. And that's because as I start to make more money in life, I choose not to upgrade my life. I think with most people, their problem is how much they're spending, not how much they're making. So don't think that money, spending more money is gonna bring you happiness because it doesn't. And number two is money has two personalities. The first personality of money is savings. And savings is the kind personality of money. This is who you wanna be friends with because savings will help you and allow you to do what you want in life. The second personality of money is debt, and you do not want to get to know debt. These are like the Dementors in Harry Potter. They will suck all the life out of you and rob you of your dreams. You want to avoid debt at all cost. Number three is that money is a connector. Money is like a bridge to get you to where you want to go. When I was saving $5,000 for that trip, that $5,000 acted as a bridge to get me to Europe. Whatever you want to do in life, Money plays a role. Money is the connector. It's the bridge to get you to wherever you want to go in life. Number four is frugality is a weapon. I was making $7.25 an hour, so my savings growth was extremely slow. But one way to combat this was being extremely frugal. I brought all my meals into to work, and I never really treated myself on anything. Frugality was my weapon to speed up my savings. I think that regardless of who you are or what your life circumstances are, if you know how to be frugal, you can slow down your spending and ultimately save a lot more money. And number five is simple is best. Life gets more and more complex every single year, and this complexity translates to spending more money. Every year there's a new iPhone, the new watch, the new car, but as a consumer, you can deny this and keep a simple life. I choose to live a simple life and not keep up with society because one, I don't want to accumulate a bunch of stuff, and two, I want to save more money. Number six is experience is the best thing money can buy. Once you pay your bills and you have that money left over, there's two things you can really buy with it. And that's stuff and experiences. Stuff will eventually go away, but experiences will stay with you your entire life. I prefer to spend money on experiences because those are things that people can never take away from me. Those travels, my experience traveling, no one can ever take those away from me and they'll stay with me forever. I think that experience is the best thing that money can buy. And number seven is that your savings is your fortress. I'm at a different phase in life than I used to be. I don't want to travel as much anymore, but I don't want to spend the rest of my life working a nine to five job. So in order to do what I want, I need to save as much money as I can. And that's one of the reasons I'm saving 60% of my income because I view it as my fortress. That's the money. That fortress is going to protect me from whatever comes up in life. So I'm saving as much money as I can right now because later that money will protect me from whatever life throws at me. And number eight is youth is not the best time to save. Now, a lot of older people say to young people to save and invest as much as they can because when they get older, that money is going to have time to grow. But the reality is, if I chose to save that money instead of travel, all I would have right now is money and it wouldn't be worth it. When you're young, you're poor in money, but you're rich in time. And when you're old, you're poor in time and rich in money. So spend your youth doing fun things like traveling the world, because once you get older, you're going to wish you did that stuff. And number nine is anything is possible with a plan. I told you my story. I want to hear yours. Anything is possible. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. You want something, go get it. Period. Because anything is possible in life if you have a plan. Number 10 is that money isn't enough. Money was the connector to turn my dreams into reality, but it wasn't everything. I had to get over a lot of fears in order to board the plane. And when I got there, I was terrified, but I pushed through and I did it. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, you know what to do. Please go out and live your dreams. Do what you want. Make steps today to live your best life. Muchas gracias a todos. Que tengan un buen día. Yo soy Agustín de Colorado. No vemos.